morning guys welcome to vlogtober day 24 we are getting our day going and taylor is off today so he's here with us and they are actually planning to move the sheep today so they're, he's gonna be out there doing that for probably half of the day it is around 10 o'clock and we ended up having the leftover breakfast casserole for breakfast today so we didn't have to make breakfast or do anything like that it was already made which was wonderful I just put a load of laundry in the washer and then once that's going and done, I'm going to get all the sheets, I should probably do that now, all the sheets off the beds and today is the day that we're gonna do that because I think today is supposed to be a high of 90, so it'll dry really fast. So today's sheet washing day. I also would like to clean the windows. I cleaned the interior portion last night and so I would like to do the outside. I wanna do the windows in the living room and get those cleaned because they are just so dirty, especially with our dog. He usually will be like on the outside, put his paws on the outside. And so it just really makes the windows dirty. Also Taylor's fixing the dryer today. He ordered the part on Amazon and it should be arriving today. He said it should take like five, 10 minutes to install. And it was just the heating element. So he's getting that fixed now that we are transitioning into colder days when we know for sure we're probably not going to want to be clotheslining on a cold day. So that's kind of the plan with that. Although um, next spring, I have requested for him to build me a clothesline. I said, you know, this has actually been way easier than I thought it was going to be. Our clothes have been totally fine. Um, I per We both personally do not have a problem with it. Uh, I think at first it's a little bit different, and but once you get used to it, it's like no big deal. And uh, it's he even said it's really therapeutic to hang your hang your clothes out to dry, and I totally agree with him. Something about it is just like calming <laughs> and enjoyable. And even our kids are like, "Do you have clothes to hang out today? Can we go outside and you hang clothes while we play by you?" <laughs> so it's really sweet. Just a lot of um, really fun enjoyable parts about doing that. I think just the simple slow living aspect is something that we enjoy. And I think it's a good skill to know how to, to do, uh, although it's not hard at all. <laughs> and it saves money, it saves on your energy bill, and I think it's just overall really good for the environment and everything like that. So I am sold on the clothesline. So in the spring, early spring, uh, I would love for him to build me a clothesline. So that is kind of the plan with that. Uh, we did like almost, it'll be like two full months of clotheslining. Uh, I wish I would have done it when we first moved here, but I didn't really think of it. But now that we're out here on the homestead, you know, do the homestead things. Why not? <laughs> so that's kind of, that's that. And for lunch, we're going to have leftover stew and rice. I ended up combining it, like I said yesterday into one big pot. That's what I love to do is when you have a bunch of different leftovers, you definitely can get creative. And I had a whole pot of jasmine rice left over from that crock pot chicken meal because I didn't combine that because um, I personally wasn't eating the rice. But I'm gonna have that heating up for them pretty soon for lunch. And uh, I think for dinner, I'm gonna thaw some beef and maybe we'll do pasta because I have like a pumpkin pasta sauce in there I would like to use. I just don't know if that'd be good with beef. Maybe I should thaw chicken and do chicken with it. I'm not sure. So uh, I also need to put laundry away. There's just a lot, a lot of things I wouldn't get done today. So I'm going to take you guys along with me. I'm going to quit chatting because I've been chatting for like four minutes and I'm going to get going. <laughs> made another batch of the gingerbread scones. I ended up using all the molasses I had left and uh, yeah so that'll be the last of those for a little bit and I think our little cinnamon bun spread is almost gone so that was enjoyable while it lasted. May have to try and find another spread or if we're close to Tulsa again 
I'll stop and get some more if they have it. I am in the process of making Noble and I our afternoon tea. He is having the peppermint with two little sugars and I'm going to have the pumpkin spice. And Taylor is actually outside uh, brush hogging some of the pastures where the sheep were. That's a little bit better. So uh, we got the sheep moved this morning and he just has to put like more stakes in the ground. And then uh, that will be done. So that went pretty quick. And we moved him to the pumpkin patch. So since we harvested all the pumpkins last night, um, the sheep are going to go and clean all that up, whatever's left. There's like some sunflowers and stuff like that. A little bit of like dead pumpkins that just didn't make it very well are there. So they'll get to enjoy all of that. And so anyway, it was easy to move them because the ground was already really soft. And we are in a place that has really rocky soil. And so it's very difficult <laughs> to move a, like the rotational fencing, like, um, electric fencing because usually you could just stake it all in the ground but here you can't <laughs> it, is, it is a process Taylor has to literally get his drill he got a certain bit for it to drill into the ground because that ground is so hard so that's been kind of a challenge but we've definitely been able to navigate it and overcome and now we can move the sheep pretty quickly that's what we've got going on I just hung out all the laundry excuse the hair today you guys it is a messy bun day getting lots of hard work done I was outside cleaning up some like brush piles that have like weeds and stuff. Noble and I actually clipped a bunch of them, moved like dead logs and stuff to the burn pile. And we just, we got quite a bit done this morning. So now the littles are napping, Roy is awake. He's having a little snack and Noble and I are gonna have our tea. I'm gonna have my quiet time and Noble will probably go back outside, so. Hey guys, we are sitting outside. It is 90 degrees outside, but at least, at least the wind is blowing. That makes it more bearable. I think the temperatures are supposed to go back down to 80s next week so that'll be nice but Taylor is actually using the brush hog and he's cleaning up our fence line and uh, I honest I was inside for a little bit and I was cleaning the boys room and I stripped all the sheets off so those are in the washer right now but the clothes on the line that should be dry pretty soon and uh, I vacuumed the boys' room, cleaned their wall. They had like some like gunk and dirt and grime on their wall, so I wiped that off. And uh, just kind of gathered up books that were under the bed, kind of decluttered in there a little bit. And so their room is clean now. So tonight um, I'll put all their sheets back on. And I think pretty soon I'm gonna start dinner so I can get that going. That's kind of what we've been doing today. I haven't got the windows clean, but it's just nice of a day to be stuck inside. So I'm gonna sit out here and just hang out with the littles for a little bit before I start dinner. I just got this book in the mail that I ordered from Amazon. And I'm honestly so intrigued by the correlation between your gut and your brain. And that's pretty much what this is about. And I will let you know. I will let you guys know what I think. It's a pretty thick book, but it's a national bestseller, and it's written by a nutritional psychiatrist. So we will see. But I think it's going to be good. guys I'm getting dinner going I'm cooking up some chicken I just chopped up in the skillet and I've got water boiling for pasta and I think I'm also going to cook up some of these beets I just harvested all of our beets from our garden they I you know I feel like whenever you're a newbie at gardening 
you just take what you can. And I got two really good sized ones. The rest are kind of medium, but next year I want to do everything in the ground. Um, I'm not really sure what I think about raised bed gardening anymore. I think in the ground is probably best um, because um, there's not a ton of nutrients in our raised beds right now, but also they just dry out so much quicker. And so you have to give them a lot of water. And so we just did not do the best at that. Um, but you know, first, first batch of fall beets, I'm going to cook these up. I need to clean them. I just washed them and, um, I'm going to peel them, chop them up and, uh, do some salt and butter and make them taste really good. I personally like beets. I don't know if my kids will like them. I don't think Taylor's a huge fan, but, uh, I think I'm going to have chicken and a side of beets and I'm going to let my family have the pasta and all that. So that's what we're doing. I just gave the hens a plate full of leftover like scraps from the kids plates and just a bunch of goodies and they're just having a heyday out here. It's so pretty, the fall colors all the foliage it's just it's just gorgeous tonight but they are just loving the scraps i decided to give them to them give them the scraps out here because the turkeys and guineas and all that will snatch everything up and they're kind of greedy so the hens are getting the goodies tonight and the rooster <laughs> the rooster is this big guy right here I think he's an Aricana, Americana rooster. That is just absolutely beautiful out here. And this pasture right here was one of the first um, little spots we put the sheep when we first got them. And it used to look like what's it out there just covered in brush. And now it is covered in beautiful grass because now it has a chance to grow. So it's all filling in beautifully. And this is kind of the hen's favorite spot. And I don't blame them. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close out the vlog. Taylor ended up fixing our dryer. So the heating element is fixed, which is great. So we'll use that on um, cooler days and like in the evenings if we didn't get the laundry out on the line in time, just to have that fixed feels really good. And we have just been hanging out outside. It is beautiful, you guys. Fall here, experiencing fall here on our little homestead for the first time is so beautiful. and. And just like, wow, is this really ours? I feel really blessed and it's just so much fun to watch our littles who are growing up so fast, run around out here and play and just have a good time. It's just wonderful. The chickens roaming everywhere and the dog, it's, it's really, truly great. And we are so thankful and grateful that we are here and we're just soaking it up. It has just been so much fun. So, uh, Taylor is putting the sheep up and I think the chickens will probably be up soon. So our night is winding down. We gotta give kids baths 
and I gotta make beds, but we ended up enjoying our dinner and I ended up cooking all those beets and they were really good. Taylor actually really enjoyed them. The kids were not a fan, <laughs> but I think that's going to kind of be a gradual thing of like introducing it every so often. Cause they say like it takes like eight times of trying something to finally like it is what I've heard. So um, they'll get there. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye.